wheel turning to the right. Watch, when I let go. Oh, oh man. I'll do it again. Oh my god. I'm on the freeway right now with Ted. Beep, beep, beep. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull over right now. I think I have a flat. This hat does not fit me anymore. It's the camera, bro. Is it though? And now? Now I left stranded. It's okay. It's okay. I got this. Let's say you're put in this situation. You have a flat on the road in the middle of nowhere, stranded with nowhere to go. Would you be prepared and have everything you need in your car right now? Comment down below. At this point, my tire pressure monitoring system would have already told me what my tire pressure is at and if it's low. Also, I'm making this video because when I had a blowout on the freeway last time, which was maybe a month ago. Well, look at this. Completely flat. And as you can see, the tire's done, sadly. I was not prepared at all. I had nothing in the car, so I had to get someone to come with me and yeah, it just took longer and it's a hassle of everyone else's time. I was thinking, let's see what I have now to be prepared for what's to come. Obviously, I do not have a flat as of right now, but I am going to pretend as if maybe my one of my fronts go out or something. In the back, I have a stock wheel or in your case, maybe you have a spare already coming with your car, but I like to have a spare wheel. I used to have a sub in here and that took up space so that's why I didn't have a spare but now I think it's like I need to have this one. Stock jack which comes in handy and like a, a breaker bar kind of. I also have this if I need more leverage to break it loose. Most likely this will do the job. Make sure to have your lug key on you if you have locking nuts and this little wrench for your valve stems if you have the TPMS that I do over there. Additionally, in my car, I have a portable air compressor, tools, and jumper cables in case anything happens. I am pretty much prepared for what's to come. When you feel like the key question here is whether this jack will fit underneath your car. I know if you're bagged, you don't have to worry about this. Let's say you're even lower than me, which most likely you are, I don't know. No. What makes it even worse is that if your car doesn't have air in it, your tire, then your car is gonna be sitting probably about like an inch or two lower. Yeah, hold on. I forgot to mention wood blocks. I carry two of these for each side just in case something like this or let's say you get stuck somewhere which it happened to me before I needed to use this and look at all this burn marks perfect this sucks compared to a normal jack but you gotta use what you gotta do I realized one thing, I didn't loosen the lugs before I put it up. There's a solution to it. Get my trusty toolbox. Small flathead works. If you forgot like me, just shove this flathead into your rotor and it'll fit. Right there. So now it will break loose, trust me. Break it all loose. I'm definitely positive that most of you guys know what to do when you get a blowout. I just thought it would be a cool video showing you what I have in my car, basically. Tight, but not too tight. For video's sake, three legs will do. Just like that, you're ready to hit the road. Not too much stuff was taken up in the car. Did you drive me the thing? You're not gonna be hassled by carrying all this stuff around, but it comes in handy because I just did it right now within, I don't know, like 
10 minutes. Well, let me know if this is interesting or helpful. I just want all of you guys to be safe and prepared on the road. I just feel like this creates less hassle for everyone and more independence for you so that when shit does go downhill, you'll know what to do and have everything you need. This was all for a quick video. Now, I have to do all the reverse and put this perfectly fine wheel back on. I am not using that stock jack if I don't need you. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing that the stock jack isn't that much higher than the low pro. That's why I needed that bit of wood to get up. Yeah, this thing actually really does come in handy. Again, this varies for all different cars, but I definitely need this backup system just in case I have a blowout because I am more likely to have it due to the amount of camera I have. There's people with way more camera, there's people with less. Either way, it's a good thing to know that you should have things in your car so you don't have to rely on anyone. Also, I noticed my tires are on 500 miles. That's when it starts getting decently bad so I have this process where I rotate my front wheels with the back because I have half the amount of camber in the rear it kind of works out in my favor and then get new tires after both of them are rotated honestly with the 240 it has about in the middle amount of camber than the G has that literally lasted so long you never needed tires it's probably primarily due to the weight of the car and the suspension I hope you guys enjoy this one Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one.